Hi, I'm Daniel Lane. It was an amazing experience helping recreate Reverend Francis Asbury. He lived during the time of the Revolutionary War. He was about 20 years after George Whitfield in the Great Awakening. So George Whitfield is seeing war will be inevitable, and with the help of Benjamin Franklin, he arms the colonists with the latest in war strategies and battle information. He's preaching nonstop. Then we have Pastor Samuel Cooper in Massachusetts, who turns the Boston area into an impressive revival. There's also Gilbert Tennant in Pennsylvania. Philadelphia area is his revival zone. We have Samuel Davies down in the valley in Virginia, and he was another guy who lived on the back of a horse. Revival followed where he went. Powerhouse men of God got their generation in touch with Jesus. Many small revivals would end up creating the National Awakening that we call the Great Awakening. However, the war was led by brave pastors and quite often men of faith among which I number at least a half dozen miracle grandpas. We fought the war and we won. Yet with the war over, people are entering this new nation from everywhere. My hero, Francis Asbury, steps up to be the one. The many evangelists he recruited and taught, of which I play one of his spiritual sons, made their way to every part of this brand new nation. Asbury alone couldn't take credit for going to Holmes as Whitfield did, but he and his brave bunch of 4,000 men sure made it to every settlement and town in the new nation. He was also busy teaching and recruiting and raising up many future leaders. Being a guest in the home at Thistle Hill was like walking back into history. Now he had 1,500 fewer sermons than the awesome George Whitfield, yet he clearly had a lot to say. He not only preached 16,500 sermons, but whether on horse or eventually by carriage, he traveled some 300,000 miles, and his circuit riders would not only see a new generation serving Jesus, but even over a hundred years later, in the area of our ministry where this is being shot, we have converts finding Jesus thanks to those dedicated circuit riders. If you are looking for a hero to set for your life goal, being the spiritual son of Francis Asbury is not a bad place to start. I hope you have fun stepping into history with us. Along with the Revival Radio TV team, my prayer is that your passion is to also see people find Christ. I pray that having seen this, you will commit to pray over your town or city until you see the results that Lady Huntington and Francis Asbury saw in their assignments. We can change this nation if we will. A family can reach the heavens and worship God if we will. Experience the love of God, instill Christian values and sweep away the evil that people were taught if we will. We can take old wives tales, hopeless paganism. I've seen their eyes, I've seen their emptiness and replace it with the Lord's new birth and hope if we will. Who knew between the pages of this book lay the wisdom to change a world? We don't have to be limited by what we know. With God, we can step forward. With this book, what can't we do? If we will. We can do it. If we will. See you on the big screen starting Sunday, February 14th.